Hello. Welcome back. It's going to be another exploration and introduction to a game engine. This time, of course, Godot. You can get the Godot engine at godotengine.org. When you click download here, it takes you to a page where you can pick a version. I went with 64-bit because that's what I have, and not the mono version. I don't know why C Sharp support is not in all versions, but it's not. I kind of wanted to mess with C Sharp, but that would be down the road. And, you know, JD Script, which is its built in, purpose built uh, programming language, should work fine. When you download, you get a zip file that you will need to extract which, you know, you can do that with Windows itself, probably Mac, it's fine. I'm not quite sure if this runs on Mac. I believe so. And that just gets you this executable, pro this executable file. No DLLs, no installer. It just drops it right in wherever you extract it. So if you want it in, like, program files, you need to move it there yourself. When you run it, you see this. I'm going to walk through the parts of this. Now, I'm going to be repeating some things from the website, but I'm going to be not going to be like reading every word. And I'm going to be giving a little bit more expl explanation and clarification when necessary. So when you launch it, yes, you see the project manager. Project manager right there, projects. You can change the language over here, which is pretty nice if you speak another language. Or you work with people that speak other languages, that you can just get to it that quickly. And this is a nice feature. And I believe when I tried Godot a couple of years ago, it did not have this. You can, right from the beginning, you can click templates here and it'll show you uh, projects that people have on the web that you can just download and look at. Simple things. And these have been updated in the last couple of hours. So these, they keep up on this. And so to do use one of these, you click it, you click download, it would pop up a small window over here, then when it's done you click install, you would go back over here, double click it when it shows up. There's a fair amount of them, so you can look at them for inspiration or try to figure out things. It was a bit much for me, the one that I looked at, to try and figure it out on my own, so I went to the tutorial. Create a new project, you click new project, pretty simple. I'm going to put this under here. See users main repos games create a folder for it, which is what it's describing right here. Browse through the file, the folder structure, click create folder if you want, or you call it tutorial projects, and a capital P. Select, and you need to select an empty folder for it to put stuff in. Then you have to select your renderer, OpenGL ES 2.0 or 3.0, as it says right here. That will determine the, the upper limit of the visual quality you can get, which features provided by the engine you can get. As it says, this is compatible with older hardware. This is recommended for web games. so. You gotta look at your use case. I'm gonna go with 3.0 because it says higher quality and all features available. You click create and edit. It will take a moment 
and go through the splash screen and then it, when it comes back up it will be uh, it'll want to be bigger like you can't shrink the window down beyond a certain size in this view it just wants to be this big at least so I'll resize this bingo so this is what it pops up initially and yes we can look at the uh, the folder structure there's a project decado it uh, mentions but this is where it will keep all of the files for this game or this tutorial project so you got the viewports you got docs or tabs you got this bottom panel Got main menus, got workspaces, got playtest buttons. You can click right here to run your game as it is currently, or press F5. File system is a good, important one. I don't know why it's not showing up. Oh, yeah, right, because it's over here. I moved it. You can move stuff like that, but we'll go over that. Scene doc, you can. Let's just add, yeah, I don't know what kind of node to add. We'll leave that for now. But you'll be working with nodes over here, and that's that's a core part of the engine, of what the engine provides for you. Yeah, it's telling you this stuff, but you just made a new project, so there's nothing here. Create root node. Uh, okay. Yeah, 2D scene, sure. And then you can create child nodes and attach scripts, rename, all these things. Got a toolbar up at the top. Got different buttons and things based on 2D and 3D. You can switch between the this, this, and this with F1, 2, and 3. Yeah, 3D is pretty involved, so you're not going to want to just jump in. <laughs> Script, they've got a debugger, got autocomplete, code reference. They've got built-in help. Unlike some engines they do not just have they have this online docs here that is the the web help the the files like this that are over on the web but they also have help within the program that you can look at or at least it seems like it's within the program which is good in case you lose internet for a bit and you still want to work on your game and you can double click one of these or click open and it gives you quite a bit of information it's it's kind of uh, <laughs> it looks odd because it's squished in this little space here uh, don't save yeah that's a little bit of a uh, an issue that I've noticed. You click this X and you would think it would close whatever's in here, but it doesn't necessarily close it right. I don't know if that's a bug or what. Open scene. Uh, press all environments. Yeah, I don't know. Yep, you can resize how much space there is for these. I guess there's a maximum. 
or it's a minimum for this. Yeah, it won't let me resize this. If I resize here, then I better let me resize here. Yeah. It looks like there's a minimum size it wants the viewport to be. Use the three dots. You can change which area of the dock area different tabs are in. I wish you could just drag it over, but I didn't make it. It's probably quite complicated and hard to get it set up right. And that's it for the basic uh, introduction to the editor. Next is going to be going over basic use of the editor. But that will be a topic for another video. Right now, that's it. See you later.